At the outset, I like to thank the organizers for their kind invitation. And I'm going to share experience of a salvage lymphadenectomy in a patient of a castrate resistant prostate cancer. Prostate cancer patient with isolated lymph node relapse after radical prostatectomy presents a distinct group of patients. They have more favorable outcome in comparison to cases who have bone or visceral metastasis. There are few published papers on salvage lymphadenectomy following biochemical recurrence following robotic assisted radical prostatectomy. We have reviewed the literature and we found this one article which has been recently published and uh, this is a review article and uh, all the articles published between 2000 to 2012 were reviewed and selected with the consensus of all the authors and evidence synthesis was that contemporary imaging techniques such as 11C colon uh, positron emission tomography and diffusion weighted magnetic resonance imaging appear to enhance the accuracy of identifying the lymph node relapse in patients with biochemical recurrence after radical prostatectomy. In these individuals, salvage lymph node dissection, uh, lymphadenectomy can be considered as a treatment option. The currently available data suggests that salvage lymphadenectomy can delay clinical progression and postpone hormonal therapy in almost one third of the patients, although the majority will have biochemical recurrence in due course of time. An accurate and attentive preoperative patient selection may help improve the, the outcomes, and I'll tell you at the end the indications. The most frequent complications after salvage lymphectomy uh, were lymphoria in 15.3%, followed by fever and ileus. This paper has come in journal uh, European Urology in 2015 only. Now, I'll uh, give you one of our patients. He's a 65 year male. He had history of LUTs with raised PSA in 2004. His PSA in January 2005 was 8.47 nanogram per ml. MRI pelvis and prostate was done. There was appearance of altered signal in the peripheral zone posteriorly as well as into the medial seminal vesicle, suspicious of neoblastic process. Bone scan, there was no evidence of skeletal metastasis. This patient underwent open radical prostatectomy. This was the patient I did in AIMS and I myself has done this surgery with pelvic standard that lymphadenectomy, the sampling, what we used to do at that time, which was done on 18th January 2005. Histopathology turned out to be adenocarcinoma prostate, Gleason 3 plus 4, periprostatic invasion present, resected margins of urethra, right vas deferens, and left seminal vesicle were positive and lymph nodes were negative. Now, he, this patient is regularly coming to me for follow-up since then. Initially, his PSA was 0 0.02. In 2007, he had biochemical recurrence. MRI was done. No evidence of any recurrent or residual mass in the prosthetic bed. So at that time, we decided, uh, we gave him the option of both radiation as well as the hormonal treatment, and he opted for a hormonal uh, th therapy. So we gave injection leucarin, 11.25, and his uh, his uh, PSA came down to 0 0.08. There was some gap you are seeing because to make the presentation short. And at that time, there was no significant interval change. His PSA persisted at 0 0.07 in 2009, and we decided to give him intermittent androgen blockade instead of continuously giving him the androgen uh, <coughs> blockade therapy. Now, in 2011, MRI was his PSA start rising again. So there was no significant interval change in the mass lesion, but reduction in T2 signals. And we again gave him hormone, but his PSA was not coming down. So at that time, we decided to give him radiotherapy. So IGRT was done from 24th February 2012 to 14th of April 2012, along with hormonal injection. And uh, then in 2013, he had hematuria with bleeding per rectum. Cystoscopy, colonoscopy was done. He had changes of radiation cystitis and proctitis, which was treated. Then injection hormone was uh, continued, and his PSA was still rising 2.30. This patient was very punctual in his follow-up, and he used to come back to us and concerned that my PSA is rising, do something. So we did a PET CT, which revealed multiple FTG avid bilateral external iliac and left obturator lymph nodes. Now, at this stage, we discussed him again the treatment option, and we decided to start this Abitron acetate on him. 
and we have given him abitron acetate 1000 milligram with uh, steroids the standard practice his PSE went up uh, after 2 months 3.25 after that PSE came down to 1.82 1.32 1 3.5 like that and finally in uh, January 2005 uh, we did a PSMA PET CT and that showed intensely PSA abit bilateral lymph nodes at this time we discussed again the treatment options with him either we have to go for a chemotherapy or we suggested him that we can offer you the salvage lymphadenectomy patient agreed for that and uh, that is the way we decided to go ahead and did a salvage lymphadenectomy robotic salvage lymphadenectomy was done on 15th of January 2015 and I like to show you the video clip for the procedure now the same uh, standard our robotic radical prostatectomy position we made an incision over the external iliac vessel in the peritoneum we started dissecting with the ureter first now here the difference was that there were much more adhesions in comparison to standard what we are doing and we started dissecting the external iliac group of the lymph nodes first and they were kept aside and gradually gradually we were continuing to extend our dissection this was the medial umbilical ligament And this was the ureter here. This was the vast difference which came here. So then we started dissecting the internal idea group of the lymph nodes. Then we further went up because there were some lymph nodes here, paravasical group of the lymph nodes. And here we found there was a dense adhesions were there, plus the lymph node was there. Even we have seen the old metallic clips in this site. ligament was again cut and this was that lymph node mass which was adherent we were debating to continue or to stop but we decided to be slow gentle and finally we have been able to remove that lymph node this is another group of the lymph nodes this was the old clip you can see that metallic clip there we kept all these lymph nodes in the back then we started on the left side so the bladder was mobilized this was the vast difference This is the internal iliac group of the lymph nodes. <coughs> 
obviously he had a previous surgery plus radiation therapy so all that results into everything was adherent then we remove the external ileic group of the dome <laughs> And finally, we remove the pre-sacral group of the lymph nodes from the bifurcation of the aorta down. Then we followed up this case again. His PSA came down to 0 0.4 nanogram in March 2015. Then it went up to 0 0.8. Currently, it is 0 0.98 nanogram. And he's off currently from all any kind of hormonal treatment or abitron acetate. He had a uh, developed a low left lower limb lymphedema, which was treated conservatively, and that lymphedema is perfectly all right. To conclude, uh, salvage lymphectomy is another option for treatment of cases with biochemical recurrence following the radical prostatectomy in patients with a low PSA, value of less than 4 nanogram, well to moderately differentiated tumor, Cleason score 7, and a clinical lymph node relapse limited to the pelvis only. It can also be attempted in CRPC cases before other modality of the treatment and salvage lymphectomy represents a supplementary but not a substitute to treatment option. Thank you very much for your patient listening.